Good morning, everybody. My name is Henny, and I'm from Citygate Church, Stratford. Today is May the 10th. What a great day. It's Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there and here in the church. So this morning, I'm going to uh, read from Psalm 91 because we have been reading Psalm 91 since March the 1st. So I do believe I have a few nuggets for you. So I'm just going to take the first two verses because they are rich in itself. So I will read it for you. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will remain secure and rest in the shadow of the Almighty, whose power no enemy can withstand. Then right on the heels is a second verse, and I see a declaration, and listen to this. I will say of the Lord, and here's a declaration, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him I trust, and with great confidence, and on him I rely. Now, we may not always feel it. We don't see it. We might even forget these scriptures at times. We may even wonder, has God left us when we're in a situation, and we don't feel that he's near, but he is. Regardless of how you feel, he is right there. But his protection is real. He cannot forget us. For you know that we were not redeemed with silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. He was known before the foundation of the world, but was revealed in these last days for your sake and mine. We've been bought with the blood of Jesus. It was the highest price that anyone could have paid. And his love is so great that he, would, he couldn't leave us on our own. And the wonderful promises of this whole chapter depend on what we do with the first two verses. So I'll read it again. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will remain secure and find rest in the shadow of the Almighty, whose power no enemy can withstand. A reminder, <clears throat> his word says that if we stay in his presence, that we will be secure, protected, and rest. It makes me think. Remember the story in the Bible, the boat, Jesus was asleep and there was a storm. Jesus was at rest. He even fell asleep. That's how relaxed he was. We know what the disciples were doing and feeling, but we're not going to go there today. But I just want to tell you that he knew who he was. He knew his father. And so, and that is part of the secret. And these two verses come down to one thing. Do we tra trust God to take care of us in the storm that rages around us, the COVID-19? when we have to do social distancing and we have to wash our hands at every turn and we cannot go to Dimitri's with friend and have a dinner or on a Sunday after church go for lunch at Joe's diner so that is ah, that is not really nice but do you know something we will hide under a bridge in a storm we will hide in a basement during a tornado because we believe that then we are safe. Do we believe that when we hide in the shelter of the Most High, that our loving Heavenly Father is able to keep us? Do we trust Him? Because once you found His shelter, nothing that comes at you will defeat you ever again. You will not be shaken. And so the secret is find His shelter and stay there in order to trust someone you have to spend time with that person. You have to get to know them. Girls, you need to go for a lot of lunches and walks and talks. Getting to know them well before you can trust. It's the same way with trusting God. How well do we know him? Do we take the time to sit with him and listen to him and talk to him? He is always listening to us. It's so important to spend time in his presence, to know his heart, to get to know his character. 
then when we go through a trial, we know that we can depend on him, that he's right there for you and me. And your faith will grow, and so will your trust. Now, one of the names of God is Jehovah Roi, my protector. Do we believe he will protect us? We go shopping, and especially at a grocery store, we put on our protection, our face masks, and we're trusting a mask to keep us safe. <clears throat> our, our reminder again, our Heavenly Father is our protector. We still need to use wisdom. We still need to listen to the requirements that are set before us. We do need to do our social distancing and do everything that is asked of us. But our Heavenly Father is our protector. He is our defender and our bodyguard. There's no need so small that he cannot fix it. There's nothing so big that he cannot protect us from it. He is your shield, your shelter, and your hiding place and mine. God is still in control. So let's enjoy the rest of this season on our journey together because I believe this was God's plan all along. God put a pause and he said, time out. Sometimes we're so busy with life. We're doing, we're running around. We've got kids, we've got work, we've got husbands, we've got the house to look after. It can get really busy, but let's use this time to be with him. I know many of you have to go to work. I get it. But find time to sit with him. Take that time and find your rest in him. You may have some anxiety or fear, thinking, when will this end? Or, will this ever end? Well, I'm here to tell you that God has an antidote for our fears and our anxieties. And it is... <clears throat> Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Don't go by what you hear on the news or read. Hear what the Spirit of God is saying to the church in this time. Don't forget, God has a plan and a destiny for you all mapped out. Our relationship with God should be our number one priority. You don't want to miss this opportunity that this season has handed to you and me on a platter with an invitation on it. Hmm, an invitation. Oh, we like our invitations. And you know what it says? Your presence is desired by the King of Kings. The King of Kings desires your presence. It's his personal invitation to come to him. You may freely come to his table. His door is always open to you. Remember the song that we used to sing? He brought me to his banqueting table and his banner over me is love. There is nothing more sweeter than his presence. In Jesus Christ, you have perfect peace. A reminder today that the invitation has gone out to you, to each one of us to draw close to him. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Come and hear his heart beat for you. The table is set and he is waiting. I have personally found that when I spend time seeking his face, coming into his presence to worship him, not to see what he can give me or what he can do for me, I just want to kind of sit with him nice listen to him and he listens to me and we have this time of fellowship god has put a pause on us with a purpose and i believe the purpose is that the holy spirit wants to talk to each one of us through this psalm 91. this entire chapter is filled with the goodness and power of god he faithfully works on behalf of those he love who loves him and at the end of this Another reminder of his promises, and I'm going to read it. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will re rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. 
I will be with him in trouble, and I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. I will rescue him. I will protect him. I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him. I will honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation, allow you to see his deliverance and his victory. These are awesome blessings that are waiting for us as we seek after God and choose to walk in his ways. Let's pray. <clears throat> Father, we come before you this morning and we thank you for your presence with us this morning. Thank you that you go before us and you are beside us and you cover us from behind. Thank you for your protection and that our future is secure in the place you've prepared for us. Your word is yes and amen and gives us hope and comfort. Remind us of your love and may we catch glimpses of your glory and blessings along the way as we seek after you because our victory and salvation is found in you alone. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Now there may be someone who's just turned into our podcast and you may have heard the last part of this message and I want you to know God loves you and he wants to protect you and your family in these uncertain times. If you have never asked Jesus Christ into your heart, you can do that right now. You can just repeat after me if you want to pray. Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. I'm asking you right now, please come into my heart and save me and forgive me for all of my sins. Amen. And when you have prayed this prayer, you may know that God has forgiven you. <clears throat> and all of heaven is cheering you on. And here at City Gate, we are cheering for you. If you would like to speak with someone or talk to the pastor, you can find information to contact, contact City Gate Church on our website, citygatestratford.com. You can look us up on our Facebook page as well. Thank you, everyone, and have a great and wonderful day.